Sweet Dreams is the perfect nickname. One punch from Jamal Hill put Johnny Walker to sleep, and that puts the nail in the coffin on Johnny Walker's hype and perhaps his potential. The guy is athletic as possible. He's so big for this division. He has the physical attributes besides a chin that anybody would kill for. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. The skills pay the bills, and it's how you use your physical gifts that make the difference. And it is Jamal Hill's power, his chin to be able to withstand Johnny Walker's blow because they both kind of hit each other at the same time. Walker hits pretty hard, but Hill actually slipped on most of the punch from Walker's right hook. I know the commentators were saying that they hit each other at the same time and most people saw it as a trade and Hill won. Full power from both guys and Hill showed to be probably more powerful and or having the better chin. But it wasn't just that. His big step off to lean on the outside of the punch helped him tremendously to not take the full impact of it. So he even showed to be more technical in this exchange alone. For sure showing to be better defensively than Johnny Walker, which is Walker's biggest Achilles heel. Number one is chin, and number two, he takes punches full on. Doesn't really have the greatest defense to most strikes against most fighters. Because there was another point in the fight that a lot of people missed. When Walker thought he hurt Hill and he started to advance forward, he went into that clinch and it looked pretty strange. The reason why it looked so strange was because he actually took a right hand to the head that wobbled him and made him lose track a little bit of where Hill was moving. Because when you look at the angle Johnny Walker was running at Jamal Hill, he was trying to cut him off. The right hand actually made him move in a straight line and lose balance as well as focus of where Hill was at. When you're fighting someone like Jamal Hill, your defense has to be on point because this guy is a sharpshooter. His right hand lands to the temple. Walker hits Hill's like trap with some of his last knuckles connecting toward the jaw, but that's not the same kind of impact that Hill was able to connect on Walker with. And you notice, Jamal Hill turned into orthodox. He's a southpaw fighter. He switched into orthodox for the first time in the fight, really showing that he's able to adjust mid's fight, which is something that a lot of fighters cannot do. And it worked out for him. He said his left hand was kind of falling short. He wasn't able to find it on Walker. Looked like Walker's game plan was just to get away from that left hand specifically and the right hook from the southpaw stance. I'm pretty sure they did not expect Jamal Hill to switch stances on him because Walker was slipping away from all the left hands he blocked one of the biggest right hooks that Hill attacked him with and actually able to counter him with his own right overhand using the full extension of his reach that physical gift that we're all talking about I mean 82 inches on a six foot six frame is insane to get away from so you better make your punches count and Jamal Hill definitely did he was gauging how the fight was going down he made the adjustment which is so important for a fighter. Making adjustments mid-fight is something that only like the high-level elites do. Most fighters just like, they go by the game plan, they go by what their coaches are telling them. They have a routine of how they fight, and it's extremely hard for them to change that because it is difficult. It's not easy to make adjustments inside the fight. You're displaying your own fight IQ when you do that. It has really nothing to do with the coaches. It's just all on yourself. And once things switched up on Johnny Walker, he immediately lost because not only was he trying to slip away from the left hand and block the lead right hook, the left straight and right hook are what Jamal Hill is known for, but offensively, he was attacking the body in the head with his right leg. The open side on the opposite stance fighter, Johnny Walker was trying to slam right head kicks with also teeps to the body. Things did not play out the same way for him when Jamal Hill switched stances on him. And now we are looking at a definite top 10 fighter, someone who actually belongs there, probably even higher in the division. He's at a pretty good age for the light heavyweight division right now, right? He's 30 years old. He was ranked number 12. And people have to remember, he started his career a little bit more than four years ago. That's right, he was 26 years old when he got involved in this. 26 years old and he's already a top 10 fighter in the light heavyweight division if that doesn't give you any kind of inspiration or motivation to go and chase your dreams and aspirations and never say you know it's too late i mean there of course is an age but if you're in your mid-20s man it's not over for anything you want to chase jamal hill alexander volkanovsky ellen joban jimmy manua these guys are able to make it far into their aspirations even though they started what a lot of people would say is really late. Even Israel Adesanya of all people. I mean, he started training at 18 years old. And that was only for kickboxing. Most people would say that's way too late to start. And look at him now. He's one of the greatest fighters to ever live. So it was a great performance for Jamal Hill. I mean, showing his power, showing his savviness in the cage, switching up, adjusting in the fight. This is stuff I did not actually see from him going into this. I usually thought he would stick to a routine, just the left hands, right hooks, mostly southpaw and stuff like that, but he's a lot smarter than these fighters thought. And as for Johnny Walker, one of the most devastating losses in his career. I don't know what the next move is for him. I really don't. I mean, there's been so much damage he's taken. He's going to be out of the top 10 now. Does he change training camps? Like, I don't know what Johnny Walker is going to do at this point. But I hope he's able to figure it out, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.